Negotiators close in on hostage deal that would halt fighting in Gaza for weeks. A written draft agreement calls for the phased release of captives held by Hamas in exchange for a cessation in Israel's military offensive for about two months. American-led negotiators are edging closer to an agreement in which Israel would suspend its war in Gaza for about two months in exchange for the release of more than 100 hostages still held by Hamas a deal that could be sealed in the next two weeks and would transform the conflict consuming the region. Negotiators have developed a written draft agreement merging proposals offered by Israel and Hamas in the last 10 days into a basic framework that will be the subject of talks in Paris on Sunday. While there are still important disagreements to be worked out, negotiators are cautiously optimistic that a final accord is within reach, according to U.S. officials who insisted on anonymity to discuss sensitive talks. President Biden spoke by phone separately Friday with the leaders of Egypt and Qatar, who have served as intermediaries with Hamas to narrow the remaining differences. He is also sending his CIA director, William J. Burns, to Paris for Sunday's talks with Israeli, Egyptian, and Qatari officials. If Mr. Burns makes enough progress, Mr. Biden may then send his Middle East coordinator, Brett McGurk, who just returned to Washington, back to the region to help finalize the agreement. Both leaders affirmed that a hostage deal is central to establishing a prolonged humanitarian pause in the fighting and ensure additional life-saving humanitarian assistance reaches civilians in need throughout Gaza. The White House said in a statement Friday night summarizing the president's conversation with Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani, Qatar's prime minister. They underscored the urgency of the situation and welcomed the close cooperation among their teams to advance recent discussions. In a statement in Israel on Saturday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reaffirmed his commitment to securing the release of those hostages who were not freed as part of a more limited agreement in November. As of today, we have returned 110 of our hostages and we are committed to returning all of them home, he said. We are dealing with this and we are doing so around the clock, including now. The hostages have been in captivity since October 7, when Hamas gunmen stormed into Israel and killed an estimated 1,200 people and seized about 240 more in the worst terrorist attack in the country's history. Israel's military retaliation since then has killed more than 25,000 people, most of them women and children, according to Gaza's health ministry. It is not clear how many of those killed in Gaza were Hamas combatants.